Right, we're at Waters and Stanton Electronics. My uh, call is Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor, Peter Waters. And we're about to uh, have the very first QSO, the first world QSO using a KX3, Helicraft KX3, um, with a 4 metre module fitted. I should explain the reason it's the first uh, QSO in the world is because uh, although Helicraft manufacture it in the USA, they haven't got 4 metres. So they've flown us over a, a sample uh, KX3 with the uh, prototype 4 metre transverter fitted and uh, we're now going to attempt the first QSO on 4 metres with a KX3, here we go. Uh, CQ, 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 this is a G0PP, Golf Zero Papa, Echo Papa, a G0PP located in Hockley, Essex, uh, calling CQ on 4 metres and uh, listening for a, uh, a call. Yes, uh, G8FJG, uh, this is a G0PP uh, returning. Um, very good after, a very good morning to you, thanks for the call there. Name's Peter and uh, located uh, in Hockley in Essex and I uh, should explain that this is the uh, very first uh, call we've made on a KX3 on 4 metres and so this is a world first because uh, nobody else has made a QSO on 4 metres using a KX3 and you're the recipient of the um, of, of this uh, first contact. So. Name's Peter, Q Dash is Hockley, back to you from Golf Zero, Papa Echo Papa. Uh, G0, PEP, G-O-F-J-G, yeah, okay, Peter, fine. Name is Ron, Radio Oscar and I, Ron. QGH is Raynham, which is uh, 20k east of London, 20k east of London. Um, as I'm the first, does that mean I actually win it? Is that what the award is? Go. <laughs> well, we'll have to talk to Ellicroft about that one. Um, we're going to put this on YouTube, so. Um, We'll talk to Ellicraft about that. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can award you with something. It might be a special Ellicraft um, World First mug, um, Ron. But anyway, nice to to, to uh, get the reply from you. We're running three watts here to uh, an Innov antenna's uh, dual band six and four meter um, antenna, which is is quite a nice antenna because it's fairly compact, single feed, and it covers uh, two of the most interesting bands, uh, four and six meters. And I think a lot of people will, um, with the KX3, will want uh, one of the Innov antenna um, systems here, which are quite reasonably priced and, as I say, very compact and nicely made. So back to you, what, what are you running there, Ron, from uh, G0PEP? Uh, G0PEP, yeah, that's Yeah, fine, Peter. Well, uh, your report is 5 and 3. You're 5 and 3, no problem. Not sure if I'm actually beating up on you. Also using a, 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 a duo beam, a 6 and 4, one of uh, Justin, G0KSC's antennas. Um, uh, just uh, a homebrew one that I've, I've built to his design. Running an FT847 with all the usual nods and uh, knobs and, uh, and whistles. Um, perhaps uh, 30 to 40 watts PEP output. Um, yeah, uh, uh, the certificate will suffice, I suspect. <laughs> Okay, we're on uh, from G0PP. Okay, well, very many thanks for that to call and for the information there. You're running 40 watts, we're running 3 watts, and uh, so but we're getting you about 5 and 7, so that, the, the reports are about right so for the uh, low level of power. Okay, I'm going to say 73 uh, to you, Ron, um, and finish this, uh, this uh, little recording here for the benefit of those um, hundreds or thousands of uh, KX3 owners that will no doubt want uh, to fit their KX3 with either the 2 metre or the 4 metre transverter. So all the best there, Ron, and many thanks for the call. Appreciate that. Yeah, from Yeah, no problem. Okay, so there we are. That's the very first QSO from a KX3 using the 4 metre transverter. There's also going to be a 2 metre transverter, um, and uh, I can see a lot of people being uh, very uh, interested in adding those to the KX3. There we are, KX3 with the 4 metre transverter.